えー、と皆さんこんにちは。Hi everyone, this is Yoshinori Ono from Capcom. I'm the producer of Street Fighter Cross Tekken. Here to show you guys、um, kind of an overview of the game as, some, as well as some details. <laughs> so, this game is、uh, basically a dream collaboration between the two hot, hottest franchises out there. I'm in the fighting game genre. We have Tekken from Namco Bandai as well as our very own Street Fighter. Um, and this is a collaboration we couldn't do in the previous,、um, the previous days, but now with new technology, we were able to make it come true.、Uh, so, there were three basic de- design principles that we had when we were building Street Fighter Cross Tekken. The first being casual fun.、Um, with this game, we want to bring as many users as possible to come enjoy the game.、Um, you know, we hope to get people who played Street, Street Fighter or Tekken in the, in the old days. Maybe they haven't played a fighting game in a while, but with a very large Roster of characters that we have in this game, we hope to get those old fans back as well as you know, brand new fans who have never really played a Street Fighter or Tekken or even a fighting game before.、Um, so, the next point we have is the hardcore depth.、Um, we really think that we put in a lot of different k i n d of battle mechanics which the hardcore can really sink their teeth into. And、um, basically, we, we think that we have a lot of new things as well as some old mechanics which players will be able to. You know, flesh out again for, for this new game.、Uh, the final point we have is customization. And what we want to do with this, this title is kind of bring players to put their own personality into the, the, the characters and not just play with the characters that we have always、um, provided for them. So, this is the core of the gem system, which we think offers a lot to new players in, in order to help them play the game, but as well to more experienced hardcore players in adding a new level of depth. To the strategy and the,、um, just the matches when they occur. And then putting all this together, we have the various online features in the game where we built off a lot of the old features that were in Street Fighter 4, but we've added in、uh, brand new netcode as well as a lot of new features which take advantage of the, the tag battle system. You know, so you're able to play the kind of four player modes online and offline, as well as do things like training online. Uh, which we think that a lot of players will really enjoy be able to build their social networks、uh, through playing the game. Hi. So, just looking at the character select screen here, you can see that we have a very robust roster. We basically took the all stars from the Capcom Street Fighter series as well as the Tekken series.、Um, basically, we, we listen to the fans for a lot of input based on you know, which kind of characters they would like to see. So, we really think of it as a kind of fighting festival where You know, all players from different genres, you know, be it you like fighting games or not, can just look at the roster and say, hey, that's really cool. You know, I know that character from way back when, and then they can just jump in and have a good time. Hi, yeah, so now we'll just demonstrate some of the more hardcore fighting game mechanics in the game. Basically, with this game, we have a lot of old、uh, fighting game mechanics, such as EX moves and super, super moves, which、uh, you'll be familiar with if you've played Street Fighter 4. Um, but in addition, we've added in a lot of new things which we think to really take advantage of the tag aspect of the battle system. And we hope you guys will be able to, you know, once you get your hands on the game, kind of go through it and then kind of play around and find out what works best for you. So,、um, just real quick、um, basically, meter management in this game is very important because having meter allows you to access a lot of the really interesting features. So,、um, we have the basic combos for every character called the cross rush. What this does is it allows you to bring in your, your partner character based off of a very simple、uh, light, medium, heavy, heavy combo. And every character in the game has access to this. So we think it's a simple mechanic, but it forms the basis of the core、uh, tag gameplay. And then obviously, when your character comes in, you have the、uh, opportunity to do combos and really opens up the, the combo tag battle system. So, you can see here, you can do various combos. This is just、uh, the tip of the iceberg, really. In addition, we have things called switch cancels. So, you can tag normally like this, but it's rather slow, kind of unsafe. If you want to tag in a more efficient way, you can spend one meter to tag in the middle of a combo or a, a move. So, this also opens up a lot of、uh, you know, combo opportunities when you're able to. Do switch cancels at places like this and get you know, even bigger, you know, more damaging combos. In addition, we have、um, something called charge moves, where you can charge up a move to make it、uh, more powerful. So, this is you know, Paul's normal lunge punch, which he has from Tekken. If you charge it up, 
it becomes even stronger. If you charge it all the way to the third level, it automatically becomes a super move, which can be done at the cost of no meter. So this is really useful because you can actually dash in the middle of, of the charge move at any time and cancel it. So this is a lot like the uh, EX Focus cancel mechanic in Street Fighter 4. So you can charge, fake it, dash, go for a throw. There's a lot of different mind games which you can do, uh, which we think players will really be able to utilize. Uh, another feature we have is something called the cross assault, where you, cro where you call your opponent or your partner onto the screen at the same time, and you just go on the wheel on the other character. Uh, really good for opening up people when you have a, when you're having a hard time. In addition, we have things called uh, we have team supers. So if you're familiar with uh, the concept from Marvel vs. Capcom, you can do kind of a team super which uses all your meter, but does a lot of damage and is you know well worth the, the effort. To, to kind of land this move. You can see here it does around 40% damage to Kazuya. So it's a really important use of meter, um, which we want, really want players to consider. Um, so yeah, in this addition, we also have the basic you know, EX moves, which return from Street Fighter 4. So this is done at the cost of one meter, and uh, you know it just gives you a powered up version of the attack. And the rest is the Pandora mode. So, <laughs> um, one more thing we have is called Pandora Mode, so let me just switch characters real quick here. Uh, Pandora Mode is basically when your character sacrifices themselves to give their partner a 10 second uh, attack uh, power boost. So this is good if you're low on life and you feel like, you know, I've got nothing to lose so I'm going to go for you know, Pandora Mode. Uh, one thing to note though is if you can't KO the opponent within those 10 seconds, you automatically lose that round no matter what. So, uh, a lot of players were saying that, you know, this is such a useless thing because if I activate it, the guy's going to run away for 10 seconds and I'm going to lose. But, you know, we're here to show you today that that's not really the case. There's a lot of possibilities with the system. Players just really need to, you know, kind of get their hands on it to flesh it out a little more. So, uh, it's performed if you have 25% life or less. So, let me just set my life wheel here real quick. And then you can see that your life bar will be flashing. If at this time you do down down tag, you'll activate Pandora mode where your character will sacrifice themselves and then you get that power up. But you can also mm -hmm. see in the upper left hand corner, there's now a timer which is ticking down. Once that empties, you automatically lose unless you have already killed the opponent. So uh, the cool thing is that you can combo into Pandora mode. So Ryu has an EX move here which causes a wall bounce. What you can do is EX move into Pandora mode and then go into a super combo. And if you look at the life bar here, this does around 50% damage. So it's definitely you know, a viable strategy if you want to you know, set up for a comeback at the very end using this Pandora mode strategy. <coughs> it's definitely possible. So um, you know, it's also possible off of a cross rush. So if you can't land that you know, naked EX kick, you can do it off a of cross rush. You get a little less damage because of damage scaling. However, this is a lot more consistent. So, yeah, I mean, a lot of players were just saying that they didn't really know what the point of the system is, but here you can see that it's definitely something that's uh, it's basically a viable strategy for you know the, end, the late and end game if you feel like you want to go for that kind of you know, flashy comeback combo. So now we'll move on to the uh, more customization aspect of the game. So. Um, obviously, uh, when we talk about customization in this game, a large part of it is the gem system. And right here, you can see the gem edit menu. So for different characters, you can set different gems as well as presets. So we'll just go into an example here with view. Um, you can see that there's different types of gems. So there's basically two types. There's boost gems, which increase the parameters of your characters, and there's assist gems, which uh, cover for your weaknesses as a player. So just an example of a boost gem. Um, right here we have the immense power gem level 1. What this does is it gives you a 10% damage output uh, when you connect with 5 normal moves. And you can also see that it lasts for 20 seconds. So you can equip up to 3 different gems um, in each slot. So you, I can have three, you know, 3 different gems of my choosing. And then you can also save you know, your preferred loadout and give it a custom name, a custom title. So it's important to note that all these gems are different. So you can see this one also gives you 10% for 20 seconds, but you need to block five times for it to activate. 
This one, you know, activates after you connect with three normal moves. So we have a lot of different gems in the game, which have different effects in different conditions. So we want players to kind of go through the list and say, what kind of player am I? Am I the kind of player who does a lot of attacking? Do I want to increase my attack power? Or am I kind of a defensive player who needs help blocking? Like this one, let's say, you know, like I get hit by a lot of fireballs. So in this case, it would help for me to have my, you know, my defense increased by 10%. So you can see here we have ones that um, increase your speed with, with these divine speed gems. You get, you know, 10% bonuses, things like that. We have ones that where you rec uh, recover life, as well as ones that um, increase your, your cross meter uh, acquisition rate. So uh, what we want to say is that no gem is more powerful than other gems. Basically, it's like equipment for your player. Mm. Yes. Ah, one more gem. Let's say the last one. Yes. Then one more support assist. Uh, we'll go over here to the yes, Mr. Uh, to assist gems, which. Uh, we're a little more controversial when we first introduce them, but we want to show here that actually, while assist gems have great benefits for use for beginning players, they also have a lot of penalties as well. So, the easy input, super easy input gems, um, they make your commands easier. So you don't need to do half circles or quarter circles, but they give you attack uh, decreases throughout the entire match. So you'll be playing with a 10% handicap if you choose to use these gems. If you're the kind of player who can execute, then there's really no reason that you'd want to use this. It's really just for people just starting out who have problems, you know, doing these kind of difficult fighting game movements. Uh, we have the cancel assist, which is you know helps you cancel special moves easier, as well as auto throw escape and auto block. So uh, these are also a lot of people are worried that this would be too powerful, but you can see here the cost is that it eats up your cross gauge, your meter. And we showed you know there's a lot of uses to having meter to doing you know, the team supers, the cross assault, switch cancels EX moves. So if you're having your meter constantly drained by this auto block gem, you're not going to have access to those other more powerful parts of the game. So we really think that this is stuff that's just for really beginners. Once they got, get the hang of the system, then they're going to want to you know, stop using these assist gems, move over to the more you know, uh, customizable part of the game, which is the boost gems. <laughs> So a lot of people might be thinking, you know, when they first hear the gem system is, oh, is this just a you know power up for my character? Am I going to be able to beat, you know, am I going to am I going to be able to beat players who are way better than me just by having gems? And you know, we're here today to say that's not really the case. Um, it's not a way to cheat the system. You still need to put in time in the training mode, you know, work on your game. The best way to think about it is equipment for your for your character. So if you take you know a sports analogy, let's say soccer or I mean football where you know we have like <laughs> players and they have their equipment, they have their uniforms and their spikes. So these are things which help them play the game better. You can play football barefoot if you want, but if you have you know the shoes for the right surface, then you're gonna play better. So that's how we really think of the, the gem system is it's equipment for your character to kind of put your own personality into and uh, you know just kind of customize it so it's not always the same view or guile, you know, it's going to be my view, my guile, this is the way I play the game, so this is the way my character is going to be. So, um, what we want players to realize is that, yeah, there's no gem which is too powerful, it's just, it's just different ways to customize your character. So, you know, if you guys know about, you know, Wayne Rooney, he's a really great player, so if you go buy the same shoes as him, it doesn't mean you're going to be as good as he is. That's the same way we look at the gem system. If you have this, if you just have a certain amount of gems, it doesn't mean you're going to be a great player automatically. You still need to practice and you need to work on your team. Oh wow, you're better than you look. Hi. So the, the last thing which kind of wraps up all of our uh, features together is the really robust online functionality which we built into the game. So. As we mentioned, you can play, you know, training mode online with your friends, and you can also do um, any of the new modes online as well. We have the two-player, or we have the pair play battles and the scramble modes, and these are four-player modes which you can play online or offline. So what's really great is if you're playing, you know, by yourself in your house, as long as you have an internet connection and friends somewhere in the world, it'd be it, you know, London, Tokyo, it doesn't matter. You can just jump into a game all together and play at the same time. 
So we really think that players will be able to enjoy this game, you know, alone, but with friends as well, online. So the last thing I just want to say is that um, for Street Fighter Cross Tekken, what we really wanted to do is kind of build um, this kind of great festival atmosphere for everyone so that, um, you know, we can have new players, we can have old players, we can have beginners, experienced, casual, it doesn't really matter. You know, as long as we can get a lot of players to come enjoy the game, then we'll be able to have, you know, a great time, um, you know, just playing all together. Okay. Oh.